effective annual yield see we are doing an investment of 1000 rupees rate of return is 10 percentage per annum compounding half yearly now we need to check effectively in one year how much we are earning so we are starting with 1000 rupees and as rate of interest is 10 percentage per annum compounding half yearly this means our investment will generate returns 5% in every 6 months. So after 6 months, our investment will generate a return of 50. That is 5% 5 of 1000. So at the end of 6 months, we have a balance of 1050. Now again after another 6 months, we will earn 5% 5 on 1050. So this time it will be 52.5. So at the end of one year, the value of 1000 will become 1102.50. So total returns or total interest in one year we have generated is 102.5. So this is on an investment of 1000. So by investing 1000, we have generated a return of 102.5 so this is your returns and this is your investment now when you compute ROI that is return on investment you will get answer as 10.25 percentage so 10 percentage compounding half yearly is equal to 10.25 percentage compounding annually so effectively we have generated 10.25 percentage because of compounding frequency now let's say you have two different choices offered by two different banks bank a and bank b bank a is giving you 10 percentage per annum compounding half yearly whereas bank b is giving you 10.25 percentage per annum compounding annually now it doesn't matter you know where you are investing because just now we have seen that 10 percentage compounding half yearly is as good as 10.25 percentage compounding annually now we can put all these calculation in the formula and formula to calculate effective annual yield is 1 plus r upon m raised to t into m minus 1 into 100 now where r is stated annual rate so in this example stated annual rate is 10 percentage r upon m is periodic rate this means rate of interest for six months as situation is compounding half yearly so periodic rate is five percentage and m stands for compounding frequency so in this case the value of m will be 2 so if it is half yearly m value will be 2 quarterly it will be 4 and monthly it will be 12 and for daily it will be 365 this portion we have already discussed in one of the video on compounding frequency so if you put up all these calculations in the formula you will get answer as 1 point zero five square minus one into hundred this will give you ten point two five percentage so ten percentage per annum compounding half yearly is as good as ten point two five percentage per annum compounding annually